going on everybody Z here welcome back to the planet craft so last episode it was packed we got a uh, super alloy from up there we've got a drill going we've got a water collector it started raining lakes are going to start forming anytime now and we've just got things to do so today what i want to focus on is i want to get a seed spreader out i want to get another nuclear reactor made and um i want to see how this goes so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all fun things this is the planet crafter and i'll link down below if you're interested as well so first thing we need a seed spreader three water magnesium and aluminum that is like super easy i don't know why we didn't start already doing that what do we need aluminum and magnesium right so aluminum magnesium and then three waters we'll grab that from our water gatherer here one two three and how much power is that gonna pull that pulls 13.8 how much do we have 43 okay so this is going to plant stuff in a small radius so let's put it like out here <gasps> yeah um i want to keep it like away from my base so let's put that there and then we need to put a plant in here we're gonna put that golden plant in here and we're gonna see what happens with that because that golden plant that we found is pretty darn cool um golden seed now i don't know if this is going to do anything to oxygen multiplier does this say anything about oxygen energy biomass growth oxygen 132 <gasps> it's growing It's growing. There's the golden plant. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Biomath, biomass is 0.2 grams per second. So now that is good. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. We're getting vegetation here, folks. Uh, that's going to play into this because 12 grams of biomass, bio lab, bio, biology and chemistry lab allows craft of bio recipes, algae generator tier two, seed spreader rocket gives a global generation bonus by spreading seeds from outer space. Um, we also need, oh my gosh, we also need to make the rocket itself. Oh my gosh, we need more of those. Uh, what is that, what is that required to build? Magnesium and aluminum, okay. Aluminum, magnesium, magnesium. I'm gonna grab all the magnesium out of here. And aluminum. And then we need to get a whole bunch of water. And then, okay, so... You gotta be careful though of, of power. 30. So we could run... Two more. So, yeah, only two more. Let's go ahead and grab some water. We need three waters per deal and then one, two, three. And then as far as seeds go, we're gonna go ahead. I wonder if you can place, you probably can't place seeds like eggplant seeds. You can probably only place like actual seeds. Um, but we should have, so 300%, 250. There's a 400%. And a 300%. Let's get those out. Let's throw those in some seed spreaders too. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, it's so cool. It's so beautiful. It's a beautiful field of flowers. All right, so let's get this one like right there. And then we'll throw in our 400% multiplier. And then we need, oh, we need water. Oh my gosh, this is so cool actually seeing stuff like growing. One, two, three. And I'll place another one uh, over here. So we'll do that one. And then there's a 300% right there. So we're also getting tons of oxygen. I wonder if there's ever a point where there's gonna be enough oxygen to not have to worry about oxygen in our suits anymore. Oh, look at the golden seeds. There's those growing. Oh, this is super cool. <laughs> I love it. I am loving this. Okay, so now, now that we got those going, uh, we don't have much more power. So let's go ahead and let's get our nuclear reactor going. Um, I think we might need to go grab some more. Oh, nope. 
There's those three. Where's our rod at? There's our rod. And then what else do we need? Two water bottles. See if this has two water left in it yet. Nope, no water in it yet. Okay, so we'll let that run for a minute. Look at our beautiful seeds. Oh, they're so beautiful. Those are still growing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. Energy, biomass growth is 100%. So I don't know what, what that means. So 100%. Does that mean like we can move this and have it grow somewhere else? I'm not actually sure. Like, do we just leave them? Because it says growth 100%. Like, do we just leave them or can we can we move them and have like more plants growing everywhere? I don't know. I don't really know how that's going to work. Maybe we should just leave them for now. You know what? I have a bunch of ice. Let's just let's just make Let's just make some water. All right, and then let's go ahead and get another nuclear reactor online here. Perfect. This says growth is 100%, which makes me think that like growth is done. You know, so like we should move it to get more vegetation elsewhere, but I don't know. I can't really imagine that that's like, that's really how that's supposed to work. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, so we've got terraformation. We have oxygen like out the wazoo. We don't have heat and we don't have pressure. So heat is 0.25 per second. Pressure is 17. Um, these generate quite a bit of heat. This generates quite a bit of heat as well. But this also generates pressure. This doesn't generate pressure. So honestly, these like, ore extractors seem to be like the better way to... Oh, you know what? I bet you the rocket is. I bet you the rocket's probably the best option here. And it's 55 power. We have enough for that. Um, but I don't think we have the super alloy anymore because we've got one... Oh, no, we do. One, two three and then we need three iron and three titanium there's three titanium we need two more iron and then we can make a, a rocket launch platform i think how big is this thing oh my goodness this thing is monstrosity uh let's put it right there it actually lined up pretty good with that so how does this thing work so we've got asteroids attraction rocket attracts uranium asteroids gives a global heat generation bonus magnetic field protection rocket attracts iridium asteroids gives a global so we can choose so we could get attracts uranium asteroids so that means asteroids would come in that means they'd give us uranium which would give us more power so we need a rocket engine two super alloy and three cobalt that is not bad let's uh Let's go make that happen. So super alloy. I think we're out of that, but we can go grab more. Yeah, let's go grab uh let's go grab some super alloy from our fancy new spot and then we'll come back. And we'll also grab I think we had extra rocket engines too. So here's our amazing super alloy spot. Now, I got to say too, um we're still playing the prologue here. I am extremely surprised at how much they are actually allowing you to do in the prologue because like this is a lot of the game. To me, it feels like a lot of the game. Um, I'm surprised they didn't stop you at like, you know, like, you know, clouds or something like that. But it's like they just keep giving you more stuff to do. All right. So three super alloy. Should we go grab more super alloy? Probably. Um, Actually, let's grab these as well. 200, 200, 300, because we're probably going to put those into, uh, ooh, 400%. Oh, there's another bean right there. Uh, we're probably going to end up throwing those into seed spreaders any anyways. Let's go see. Let's go grab some more super alloy here. Now, I do want to be careful with the super alloy stuff because we have, like, this area is, like, there's a lot of it here, but at the same time... There's still a finite amount, but then again, we have the drills, which is basically giving us infinite amount of the other resources, so we can always craft more super alloy if needed. 
Ooh, there's a chest over here. Super alloy. Okay, I don't need anything else. Uh, my inventory is actually almost full. So we're going to grab this last little super alloy chunk right here. And then we're going to head back. Perfect. Oh, I love seeing the green vegetation next to the base. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. It would be kind of cool if this would like start naturally spreading. Like if it would just start like, bloop, you know, kind of like continually work its way out and start covering more areas. Actually, is it? Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so we've got a bunch of super alloy here. So for the rocket, we needed super alloy and cobalt, I think. So there's some cobalt. One, two, three. Let's go check our drill. I think it was three super alloy. Oh, and a rocket engine. Oh, shoot. We'll have to see what a rocket engine needs. I don't think I have. Oh, I lied. I had one. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my gosh, we got to build our first rocket. Oh, this is going to be so cool. And it's going to increase our heat by a thousand percent. I think is what it said. So let's see. Asteroids attraction rocket attracts uranium asteroids. Gives a global heat generation bonus. Heat multiplier 1000%. Oh my gosh. That right there is a rocket. So, and then the red button to launch a space. Hold on. We got to go. We got to, we got to step down here and look at this thing. In all its magnificent glory. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, that is super cool. These guys are even like worthless now. We should probably get rid of those. Oh, that's so cool. All right, hold on. We need we need some hydration real quick. Okay, so let's grab that. Consume that. Okay. We're going to hit the button. So let's see here. Let's see what our heat currently is. It should be a thousand percent multiplier. So heat is 75 PKs per second. So we're going to launch this bad boy. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Can't even wait to see this. Oh, here's the time we've all been waiting for launch. Oh. Look at it go. Oh. Oh. Uranium. What? Uh, uh oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just dropping uranium everywhere, too. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. You could call in a, an airstrike of uranium. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing ever. I love the fact that we just called in an airstrike of, of rock of who? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, this is going to let us get so much more power. Oh, there's so many, so many chunks of stuff around here. Now, I wonder when these rocks disappear, if the uranium disappears or if the uranium will still just chill there. I hope it just chills there. I hope it doesn't actually disappear. Oh, this is good. Oh, <gasps> that's water. Oh my gosh, there's actually water down in here. Oh, look, there's actually water. I wonder if it's because of the 1000% multiplier that we just got for heat. I wonder if that's cranking up the... Um... Oh, shoot. We need oxygen. Oh my gosh, we got to get all the uranium we can. So basically what I'm seeing is that you can infinitely call in uranium and iridium. So those are infinite resources because... Every time you call in a rocket, you get a uh, you get a storm that then calls these in. 
and the only requirements for these are basic so super alloy and then rocket thrusters which i think we can craft those and then you have your drills which are basically giving you an infinite supply of basic resources so the only things like the finite resources are the the uranium and iridium but if you can call an asteroid in for each one like you have an infinite supply of uranium an infinite supply of uranium or iridium okay we got it so we have a couple more up top that we have to get warning food level low it's fine oh my gosh there's water coming in here i'm curious to see what happens once the water like how high how deep is the water level gonna get and are we gonna like walk underwater i mean we're in a spacesuit, so we should be fine but it's just kind of interesting let's go run this stuff back and then we gotta go check there was some uranium that landed up there and i there should be a few that are over here as well okay let's see where else did the uranium hit oh i see some over here hello there uranium and then i saw some hit over here as well however they were kind of up there on the rocks <laughs> like one hit right there and like rolled off it was kind of cool oh look at that you can see the water from here all right in there all right in there i don't know if we're gonna be able to get up to this spot uh i don't know about this this might have been a mistake coming down in here i might be stuck nonsense we're good okay oh look at that over there oh my gosh that's really filling in oh let's go check our heat now because that was supposed to give us a 1000 percent multiplier oh it's raining again oh it's raining <laughs> oh it's like almost it's like storming it's actually like raining it's pouring down okay uh oh my gosh we went from 75 to 750 so we need to do the same thing with pressure for sure oh my gosh it's a torrential downpour Oh, I bet you the lake's filling up fast now. I mean, I don't know if that's how that works, but like. <laughs> oh my gosh, we started with a barren planet with nothing, and now we have rain and plants and lakes forming. This is this is just so epic. Oh, and then the greenhouse, you can see the rain. Oh, it's so cool. I mean, obviously it's all windows, but like, it's just so cool to actually see it and like, look out this way. It's actually pretty cool. Does you see that? Oh, we need a greenhouse overlooking our, oh, actually we'll probably be able to see the lake right here. I should get some greenery coming in right here too. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to set up another rocket. We're not going to call it in yet, um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get set up so that way we can get the, uh, the pressure at a thousand percent as well so pressure multiplier by 1000 percent we're gonna go ahead and get that just built just let it sit there for now and we need to go through we need to process some things i want to get some more nuclear reactors online so let's go ahead and get some uranium and let's start processing all that down all right so we have enough for two more nuclear reactors right now which is just absolutely insane so we'll go ahead and get that in there Get another one in there and then i just need two water in order to get another one going and then our power right now should be 207 yeah we'll get one more going and then i think we need to get another one of these drills going getting us basic resources so that way we never run out of basic resources and then i also want to get our resources organized here as well and then we need to launch that one and then that's going to give us a pressure increase of a so it's going to be what 500 which is going to be super huge as well. Makes our oxygen look like low now. <laughs> it's so good though. Oh, you know what? I should probably go ahead and grab all the food. And then we'll put all of these. Sort those. Put all the beans in there. And then let's go ahead and we'll get beans on these. And we're actually going to throw eggplant on one of these as well. Because we needed that for the algae uh, thing. 
So let's go grab an eggplant and throw that in. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, eggplant. So we need an eggplant growing on at least one of these. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get those going. And then we have those that... I just need two more water. There's one. Let's go just craft another water. All right, and then let's get our nuclear reactor online here um that's gonna put us at like i feel like power good enough for a while because we have another three or basically 300 kilowatt hours of power oh yes this is so exciting this is so exciting okay so let's see here i would like another drill and i'd like to get things organized Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and move these. I'm actually thinking about moving this a little bit away from the base because it's kind of loud. So I'm thinking maybe we'll maybe we'll throw both of them like right here. Uh right next well. They're I mean they're just kind of well, you know what? Let's they're fine. Let's just throw them right next to each other. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could get them in the same spot. You know what, we'll put one there and then we'll put the other one over there. We'll put the other one next to it. All right, perfect. Right next to each other, fantastic. Now, I wanna get some more storage and I wanna have, I want every storage thing to have like its own inventory space. So let's see if we can get this figured out here. How much iron do I have? Uh, enough for what, three more lockers or two more lockers it looks like? All right, so I've got started iron, titanium and then we're gonna go ahead and basically put uh, another one there, there and then hopefully have enough for every little storage thing now i was also thinking that like okay so in the odds that we're like overfilled maybe we'll throw a storage crate in front of each one of these i don't know we'll have to see because eventually we're gonna have like you know more of one resource than the other uh from mining but that's uh, that's okay that's all right so let's go ahead let's send up our rocket here let's get that thousand percent bonus on the pressure this is gonna give us a bunch of uh iridium which is going to allow us to get uh more stuff i guess <laughs> more exciting things uh, let's do it. Red button. Oh, there she goes. And that is going to cause us a storm with iridium asteroids. Uh, I don't, I don't really feel like I needed iridium right now, but I mean, you know what? Might as well. So I'll try to keep an eye on where these all land. I, you know, I just, the, it's just so cool that we can call in these, uh, these asteroids like this. Like, it's just, it's so neat. Such a fun mechanic. Um, I've gotten a little bit of iridium, not a lot yet, but it's kind of hard to see where everything's at with all these like little chunks everywhere. So I'm hoping that those will eventually despawn and that we can actually see what the heck's going on, but I got to go grab some food, some water and some oxygen. So we had a couple land down here and the water, oh, the water is getting deeper. It's getting deeper, look at it. It's like actually like a dark blue now. <gasps> it's so cool. It's so cool. So, oh yeah, we're just like walking through it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Look at the water. <laughs> it's the little things in life, right? Like the fact that there's water on a barren planet that started with nothing. Oh, it's so good. Uh-oh. I can't get that one. Oh, no. I can't get any of them that are underwater. Uh-oh. Well, that's not... Maybe, maybe it's because I'm like... Maybe it's because the water's not deep enough. I'm like, and I'm not underwater. Huh. I mean, that's not going to be great, but I mean, <laughs> nothing like leaving iridium in the water, right? Uranium and iridium just chilling in the water sources. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Um, okay. That's really all I see. So I mean, we got a decent amount, but not, not a lot. I'm sure once the, uh, rebel, the, the rubble clears from the actual asteroids and like the, the nodes are just chilling there. We'll probably be able to see it a little bit better. All right, so let's see how everything's going now. Yeah, everything's going much better. Uh, legs are at 7%. Yeah, things slow down quite a bit. Let's go pop in and check on our, on this guy. Okay, so Biolab. 
new blueprint received by a lab. Did we just hit that or something? Like the odds? I think we did. I think it was 1.25. Nuclear reactor tier two? What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Two uranium rods, sulfur. Oh, it doesn't even require super alloys anymore. Energy 331.5. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm so excited, but that's gonna end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is the Planet Crafter. Uh, we got things to like, we still have things to do. I cannot believe this is the prologue. Oh my gosh, I thought they would have ended it like a long time ago, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too. If you're interested, I'll have a link down below. Of course, um, lakes are underway and we're gonna have lakes here in a GIF. Uh, next episode, we are gonna upgrade our tier one nuclear reactors to tier twos because they're gonna go from 86.5 kilowatts to 330. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. But yeah, next time. So thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.